What's up, guys? Uh, today was a pretty chilly morning, so figured I'd use the excuse to total up my expenses and everything with the chickens and decide if it was worth doing it again next year or not. If it was a total loss. I do personally believe that I uh, didn't come out ahead on them, I guess. Um, but it was my first year, so with with most things, you're not going to come out ahead in your first year or first season, I guess. Um, so now that we got that out of the way, let's uh, get into the numbers of it as far as the things that we can put a price on. So I started with 80 birds. Uh, from what I counted that we lost in all my marks, we lost five or six birds, which would put me down to 74. But what I wrote on my calendar, every time I'd butcher, I'd write the amount that we butchered. That came out to 76. So I don't know. I had somewhere between 74 and 76 birds. So I'm running all these numbers at 75, just to put it at a decent, uh, you know, decent in between. So first off, I'm going to start with the items that will be reused next year. Uh, if you want to call it infrastructure, um, it's hard to really include this in the price of the bird because it still holds value. I could sell this stuff and, or I can reuse it year and year and year to come. So that came out to $203 and 43 cents. So this included things like, uh, water systems, um, you know, the automatic feeders, material to build those chicken tractors, which a lot of that material was recycled. You know, like I said, the vacuum lines from the barn, a bunch of the, one of them had newer lumber. The other one had some old lumber from a deck I ripped out. Um, so those were, were cheaper than it would be for most people, I guess. But anyways, um, all that stuff, chicken wire or whatever, came out to $203 and 43 cents. The next thing, betting, I had a whopping $13 in betting. That was just what I put in the original uh, brooder, if you will, where I had the chicks when they were babies. Um, I had $6 worth of LP for the, the butchering process, running the scalder. Now, now most people are going to pay more than that for their LP. I ran our scalder off of our large farm tanks. So it was whatever it cost me a buck 50 a gallon roughly for LP versus one of those smaller 20 pound tanks that most people go and purchase at Quick Trip for whatever they cost. I have no idea. I've never bought one. Um, so for most people, that's going to be a, a bigger expense. Then I had about $20 in bags. I quartered, or quartered the birds up and put them in one gallon freezer bags and just double bagged them. If you were to do whole birds and buy those uh, heat shrink ones, then that's going to add, that would be about 80 bucks because those were, I think they were about a buck a bird, I thought. I could be wrong. Or a buck a bag, I'm sorry. Um, but I didn't do that, so I had $19 in bags. Uh, and then the big one, feed. I ended up with 1,460 pounds of feed. That came out to $524.05. Now, how I ended up with that much feed, I really don't know. Everything I read online, they said it'd be about 17 pounds of feed for the bird to reach its um, maturity or whatever, to reach its butcher weight. I believe I went, you know, I, I believe my birds were bigger than what they, um, what they recommend for a butcher weight. But I ended up with that much. Technically, it should have only taken me about 1,275 pounds of feed. But I ended up with 1,460 pounds at $524. So that was the, I guess, predicted consumables. Um, I also had... $150 to purchase the birds originally. That was through Tractor Central and that was uh, shipped. Shipped to my local post office. 
Uh, I had a little bit of an unexpected cost. The person who was going to pick them up for me when they were coming through town ended up bailing. Uh, I'm not going to get into that. But anyways, for me to, I had to leave work to run and get them quick. That ended up totaling out to about $195 worth of uh, added expense into this because of my loss of overtime on that day. Um, I lost my monthly little gas card or whatever because I technically had an unexcused um, early dismissal from work. So I lost my monthly gas card and then the extra diesel fuel that was not anticipated. So that came out to an extra $195. That was unexpected. That shouldn't be in there, but it just so happened to work out for me. So, so that was in there. Okay, so that comes out to $906 for all the consumables. Um, and my original purchase and, and then that, that unexpected cost of leaving work and everything. If you include the infrastructure, then that comes out to about $1,100. Now at 75 chickens, that comes out to cost me $12.08 a piece or $14.79 a piece, depending on if you want to include infrastructure or not. Uh, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to include it just because it's not it's an, that, that I consider that an investment. Um, now, what I ended up with for meat that went in, this is what went into the freezer. I just went down there today. I grabbed a few bags. I weighed them, averaged them out from six to 10 birds, depending on what I grabbed and what was on top. And uh, this is what it averaged out. So that comes up to 6.87 pounds per bird which is pretty good. That's, if you say the birds were 10 pounds a piece, that's about a 68% yield, which is kind of right on, right on spec or, you know, 65 to 68 is what they figure your, your finished or your yield's going to be. Uh, so times 75 birds, that comes out to 515.25 pounds. Now you take that, you break it out of our original 906, that comes out to a buck 76 a pound. Now, how much cheaper could I have done this for next year? Um, a lot cheaper, actually. So I came out to a buck seventy-six a pound for these birds. Now, if I shaved some feed off to get them to that seventeen pounds a bird, like they recommend, um, I didn't run any of these numbers down, so I'm just going to put them up here as I talk. Um, that would come out to 1,275 pounds as opposed to the 1,460 pounds that I use. So that would save me about 200 pounds. Uh, the unexpected cost of um, picking them up and everything, that was an extra $200 right there. Personally, I'm thinking, why can't I supplement their feed with some of my cattle feed? That's like 17 cents a pound and not saying that it's going to be all that but supplement it a little bit because they were eating grass and bugs and they had their you know god knows how much squash and cucumber and zucchini and um you know bean clippings and everything out of the garden that went in there they had all that and then i just gave them a regular game bird ration for the, the majority of their raising, just to make sure they were getting the minerals that, that they needed. So next year I would look into one, now that I know about how much feed it would take, I would buy in bulk, which would save me a lot. Uh, additionally, I would be able to go to the local co-op and buy it all in bulk, rather than making a trip to Fleet Farm and buying their fancy stuff. Uh, that could save on money. I would look into mixing in just something like our um, our cattle feed uh, or, or something like that, you know, changing the ration a little bit so it's not just the store-bought food. And then I would look into uh, better, more, more uh, how do I say it, 
feeding them more stuff from the garden. Um, as far as now that I've had my garden, I know kind of what one plant produces for food. I know what I eat. I would plant a few extra plants just for the chickens. That could save quite a bit. So I think that my goal then is going to be next year, I'm probably going to shoot for eight bucks a bird. I'm going to try and shave $4 off a piece. So all in all, I would definitely say go ahead and do it. Uh, obviously, the smaller batches you get, the more expensive things are going to be when you average them out, such as bedding, um, you know, LP for butchering, um, all your infrastructure stuff. Uh, but I would say the average person could very easily do 40. And, and I, I don't think that's too much to tackle for a first year. Um, assuming that you have help, it might be a little bit much if you're one guy and doing everything as one guy, I had help with butchering. That was the hardest part, but I would definitely say do it. It has lots of benefits, uh, monetary and non-monetary. Um, and every year it's going to be more profitable because every year that cost of your, your original input is going to drop and you're going to find ways to do it more efficiently, uh, cheaper, different rations, everything else. So I would definitely say it, it's, it's worth it and that you guys should go out and get some of your own uh, for your backyard. So all of that being said, guys, I want to thank you if you made it this far, if you watched all this. Um, Go and check out my other videos about the chickens. I got two videos up. Uh, one of them was when I got them. One of them was just recently before I butchered them. So go check those out. Check out some of my other stuff if you'd like. And uh, like and subscribe if you enjoy any of my content. Thanks, guys.